I think, like, uh, let's be real. Uh, some would say this is a new chapter for Grimm. I would say this is the beginning of a new book. Uh, this is his chance. And, of course, he starts it off with that first frag on to Dazzle, our most recent addition to ZPG. It's going to leave the CTs still close enough to this A site to try and hold. I mean, it's the numbers game, Vince, on this bomb site. And, and I think Liquid, they're going to be feeling it up early on and consistently hitting this until the CTs can stop them. So here we have it. Grim again on that entry, finds his second kill. He's taken down a nap of Stewie, another couple. Dude, just headshots, headshots, and more headshots. And that's exactly where you want to start this day. Yeah, they're still a little bit downwards, tucked in for the moment, but Infinite flirts with it. And there's Grim's noggin, popped by the Deagle, drops off. Not only a five versus four, Vince, but substantial damage on two other members of Liquid, both Stewie and Alige on shaky knees, but Nafly's also down now. That's Dazzle with another Deagle, and the utility's low too. This isn't a good conversion look for Liquid. It bombs on site and it's planted. They're lucky to have the post plant. Can they hang on? Doesn't look good, does it? They're hanging by a thread at this point, and the scissors may be able to snap down. Smoke deployed. Chewie gonna take Ooh. initiative. The smoke crimp once again. There's Infinite and Celsius both chip in with frags, and they are trying to stick onto the bomb. Chewie is still around in the shadows, shows his hand, but one bullet perforating the smoke will get the job done. Mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we get like three days of sun a year where I live. Stewie and Twist. Last two players left. And any of those forced by shenanigans that we were alluding to are a thing of the distant past. The bug god's not going to let that happen. And they... But we have to bide our time because smoke grenades waste time. And Stewie 2K waits for no one. Decides to run through it. Gets himself the kill. A lesion grim over the side of his shoulder with another couple of their own. So, Zelsus and Marky, last two players up. They've got some utility to dump. But other than that, a massive man disadvantage. God, sure. It's, it would be easy to overlook this team. They don't necessarily have the star kind of talent. You don't have the likes of Elise over there, who is definitely one of those players that you feel like has the potential. All of a sudden, we've got Liquid redirected over towards the B site, met by a smoke off Marky. He has himself an incendiary, but he is toppled. Map going to lose a lot of health. Zelsus tries to hold this. Frag grenade goes in and two players could go down, but instead it's a little bit of chip damage all across the board on the side of Team Liquid. Look at these HP bars. Cooper, he is the last player with full-blown health. But that bomb itself is halfway gone, and the T's sit back patiently. Yeah, lack of ordnance is going to be an issue. The angles that Liquid are assuming are so solid, and even though smoke is put down, Twist knows exactly where to spray. Out goes Zelthus. Cooper thinking about a peak, takes significant damage, and he's going to pull the plug, but Grim not going to allow them the luxury of saving the AWP as he tosses it away. He knows his life is deemed forfeit, but he's done. Oh yeah, and he better believe ZPG are about to realize that too, but it could be too little too late. They've already expended a lot of their utility with quite a bit of time left on the clock. The beast fight is being ripped. But Grim is going to get the first. Twist also dipping in with a second frag. And Grim doubles up his kill count for the round. So exceptional entry work again from the youngster. ZPG can do little but save. And now suddenly this 5-2 deficit is going to start to get a little bit worrisome considering that they did pick up that second round off the back of a defuse. Um, you know, go back to the end of 2019 when they were trying to battle the, the, the demon that was Astralis. You know, Vertigo was what was added to the map pool in order for them to try and have a chance, right? They always needed that third map to side or they, they, the map pool never worked and, and they worked really hard at this point, but already a kill. Twist you feel like he's gonna have to be the main man. He's gonna have to take point. He's gonna have to get some entries. They do have time and Twist opens his account in the ninth round. Some spray through the wall, still time to play with. They don't have to rush in for a plant just yet. Well over half a minute on the clock. Twist waiting, anticipating a potential push because the pug gods don't need to overextend. Can he see just a millimeter of the head foot protruding over the boxes? Now he can and takes a bit of damage. Molotov tossed in and Twist 
sprays up there. Is this 2v4 actually on the cars? Twist planting safely behind the boxes. A slight gap in the smoke. Not going to cost Nafly his life, who's now gone for the AWP. He can get into one of those one and done positions. If he trades evenly, this puts Twist into a great position. Both CTs have kits. They're going to throw a smoke down onto the site and try and force the T's hand to come out into the open. Nafly whips out the knife, goes for a shot, but oh. sprays him down. And now Twist 1v2 has to try and stand his ground, but he's not going to be able to get it done. The time's going to be very close, but this defuse will become a success. And ZPG get their third round. Down, watching a potential B flank while a liege taking control over middle. Has Nafly just behind him and it's Twists watching the flank that is going to be rewarded for that patience. Marquis, though, does at least put him down and evens the odds. But Liquid now going to be able to stretch out those CTs that little bit thinly. And Marquis has been punished. That opens up in this onto the B side. And you better believe Liquid going to jump right on top of that. But Dazzle's Frag does keep Z ZPG in this round. The CTs in a 3v3 retake. Oh, but then there's that timidness, Vince. There's an element, you know, really stretching out the defense, really pressuring that B site from multiple sides. And uh, Twist's good job at least getting that one kill. And we'll see if this round, he shows his worth. I believe he just got boosted up onto the box. He goes down immediately. Marky with a headshot through the smoke off the P250. That's what you'd love to see. Another 3v3, but it's a post plant now. They catch Naf trying to fall back, and now a man advantage. Can they hang on? It's Stewie on the off, and Grim with the AK shaved down to an even 2v2. Oh, that peak from Stewie is sublime, and Zelsis stands. But he has no Kevlar. He was one of the two players that didn't go in for Kevlar, didn't go in for a buy, just a P250 on him and Cooper. And he knows it. He knows he has no chance if he stands tall, tries to escape, and that door gets closed, slammed in his face. Lippin have already stumbled to a similar buy. Being said, they didn't have this kind of firepower, and I think it's safe to say they're a bit warmed up now. They're not feeling too lumbered and crim. Again, just goes in so aggressively with the AK. Tag down to 11. But this man, he is nobody. ZPG put on the back foot. Ali's going to be helping out the newcomer. And Zelsis, the last man standing with a lowly CZ, is going to be in a post plant one versus five. At the best case scenario, maybe he can get a kill and save. Brought to you online. And, uh, you know, normally at opens. Oh, what? Stewie? What is that? Chubby <laughs> CZ headshot? Get out of here. Okay, write me off if you want, but let's be real. It's liquid. It's a treat to even have this team at a DreamHack open. Look at Stewie2K. His op is finessing up ramp. How many times has he got that close kill on the orange boxes with just a flick of a wrist? And now he's taking headshots with him too. Another post plant in the 3v3. Can liquid hang on to this one? They have a pretty good track record, but I will say that two of the four rounds from the Bug Gods have been in similar situations like this. It's come down to 1v1, 1v2 retake. However, Stewie, again with the AWP, is just isolating Infinite, who has the weight of the world on his shoulders, and he will crumble. 11-4 halftime score. In come ZPG, rushing up the ramp. They will be oh. moving into play. Elise landing the headshot onto Marky. And the Molotov tossed in towards the back of the side. Cooper, hiding behind the sandbags. Bomb still yet to get planted. They need someone to pick that up and to try and force it and impose the will onto Liquid, who are going to be setting up for the retake. Grenades lined up, but it's too little too late. They've already scampered away. And ZPG will be keeping themselves just about in this round yes they're a player behind but they have a post plant they don't have any grenades to play with flashes being tossed in from the cc doing more harm than good actually landing in the ice for grim spinning around gets two kills and nearly a third and a leech comes in to help him out last player is Zelsis has now been spotted and they're going to be sticking on that site they have a kit at their disposal and a leech is going to be locking it down with twists liquid take the 12th round and the second pistol zpg though do have some options affords him the luxury of retreating one of those A defenders. Make that two, actually. Elise is going to be joining Nafly. And Grim is also aggressively, regardless of T side or CT side, the guy just won't stop holding W. He won't stop getting kills, but it's Elise that's going to be taking two of them away. Finally, Grim gets his hands on one before he goes down, but the information has been gathered, and Stewie2K will be getting a 13th round on the board.
Very few chances, Vince, at bringing this one all the way back. But it starts here and now. Grim, he just barrels over top of the smoke grenades. Cooper and Dazzle with a kill apiece. Bring it back ever so slightly. Now it's Naf at bat. And he gets back around the side of the crane. And Liquid are now moving around the back. They know there's no possibility for rotation. They know it's going to be an A hit. And Stewie 2K puts Zelsis down. And with his death, that surely is the round to follow. Infinite and Dazzle don't have the time they once did to try and pick and choose. They're gonna have to just force that plant down. It puts the two of them in very isolated situations, but there is a smoke at least to lend them a helping hand. It allows Dazzle to get back to the sandbags before he's neutralized, leaving Infinite in the 1v2, tries to play the off angle, but his head gets splattered and Liquid now have an 11 round lead and 11 map points. Wild, we've got utility. Gunfire and audio cues being given up at A. Elite, he gets aggressive and he gets punished. Zelsis, that opens a door where he could possibly come swinging in through mid, but instead he looks to double back. Infinite closing the gap closer to the A site as Grim finds a narrow angle over side of ramp and finally gets something done here for Team Liquid. This would be the two versus five already turned down to the 2v4. He's created the space for the bomb to be ensured it has safety. And he waits for the CTs to make their move. Nice peek off of the frag. It's all on Stewie. One versus four with a kill already. He tries to take down the bomb planter, but that is where he's stuffed. Get Grim to just wide swing in. They're not oh, going to be checking nasty. this. Oh, this crossfire is disgusting, and this should be the round done. This should be the map oh. done. A three-player spray down. The only casualty is Nafly, but the damage surely already been done. Yeah, Marky and Zelsis, they'll be left to try and walk into the B-site. Twists, his guard is on high alert. He's dropped that Molotov already. He knows they have to be on the cusp of this. He takes a position that actually offers his life over to Marky. That's the opening. They decide to try and sprint in. Stewie with the flash slows Marky down, and he takes a deep angle, just looking to hold off any kind of a quad peak while his teammates come over. Trajectory on the utility tells the T's that there's at least one defensive member still up close and personal, but the other two, where are they at? The answer's on your flank. Zelsis, he's trying to find cover, gets his head taken clean off by Grim. Three kills here in what could be the final round of Vertigo. Marky, he is completely pinched, pinned, and done for. 16 rounds to five as Liquid takes ZPG's map pick. It seems like they are going to bide their time, but in doing so, they're potentially walking into a four-player stack. As far as the CTs are concerned, it doesn't get much better than this, and that's a huge oh. grenade. Grim, Nafly, and Twist all feeling the brunt of it, but Twist just rips straight out and gets two headshots before Zelsus and Cooper put down two of their own. It's a 3v3, but now the T's are starting to struggle. They're being submerged. Twist picks up his oh third and God. his fourth kill. He has four HP left, but the quad's there. Oh. And there's the ace as well. Oh my God. Russell Van Dolken. But with him taking the first point with the orb, it's unlikely he's going to be able to get a smoke out here. So he's going to be locked into position behind the pillar and he goes down and with him a ton of the utility. Now, ZPG had at their disposal. There is a late flank from Twists, and they line up for a Marky and Infinite. Now, I've been silenced in library, and now Dazzle, last man standing, knows Twists just round the corner, should get the freebie and trade up to the AK-47. But in terms of the round, this should be another done deal. A little final duel, maybe, to uh, wrap up round number four here. And it's not going to go the way of ZPG at all. So Elige loses half health, but closes this one down. Three player stack right now will become four momentarily once Dalsus gets there. But Cooper comes in with a deagle. He goes for one for one. Marky's also chipped in with a kill on Grim. But here comes Twist. He is moving into library and he is going to be dispatching of Dazzle. Zelsis, Marky both perched on the site. Marky goes down. Zelsis going to bide his time behind the boxes. Is this an angle that goes unchecked, goes unturned? And that stone is thrown through the windshield of the oncoming truck of Liquid. And Zelsis may be the man to mount up that comeback or perhaps not. Twist shuts him down for 3k. And now Infinite with 19 HP got to try and clutch a 1v1. Oh, and he's not even going to play the bomb. He's going to hunt down the kill, and Infinite's going to get caught off guard. A headshot to close as Twists keeps the show going. So at least the arsenal of weaponry is in the right place to try and thwart and push back the players. 
A wide swing from Grim with a nade out is going to cost him his life, but Elise going to be putting Cooper down in his place. And the two CTs on the wrong side of the site, stuck behind the smoke, isolated and segregating from being able to stop this plant. Or perhaps I spoke too soon, they're going to boost up. And Nafli will be asking some questions of his teammates to let him die. But now Twist on the long con is flanking around the back. And he could be a couple moments away from securing another frag. It looks like Dazzle's going to be a goner momentarily. There we go. And that leaves Marty left on Coffins. Apt. As he's been put six foot under. Can get the job done. We get the little two-man boost for the mid-peak. And it's successful. Ali, she's going to get taken out of this one early. This could very well lend the helping hand to Liquid. They're going to go for the banana control. Three defensive players in position, off included. Zelsus gets pressure. Dazzle gets the kill. And it's a man advantage up for the defense. This is maybe where that Vertigo reputation is going to proceed Grim because he pushed that Molotov, which is a bit of an awkward angle, and they were there to stop him. Stewie's now been picked up, but it is Cooper with the AWP, so he knows there's going to be no automatic fire. Liquid are vulnerable. They are ripe for the taking. You've got two AWPs. They need to survive realistically with four of these players left. With all players, that's exactly what they've done. That's what we needed to see. And ZPG at least get one step forward. All the closer with that op in hand. So two of the three defenders here on the B-bomb site wielding the big green. Zeltis connecting onto Stewie and through the smoke, he'll take Nav. Now he repositions, he's got a little bit of cover, welcomes the third peak. It's a trio of frags, a quad for Zeltis. He shuts it all down as they haphazardly walk down. You know, a little too adventurous at times. If Team Liquid could rob back around with this type of a buy, that would be a grueling spot for ZPG to be in. Marky, he's yet again at bat, dropping bodies off of the side of the A site, but here comes Grim. Two kills already on him, three more to go. And he gets that post plant as well. Now, these are the sorts of situations where diamonds can be made in the rough. Frag grenades go over top. Not a problem for Grim. He's committed to Small Pit, and he welcomes them to walk inwards here. He's gonna be a bit of a nuisance in this position. Tries to shave one off, hits the damage, down goes Marky. There's his second duel. Grim, oh, he takes them all! Three kills in the post plant, an eco ace for Grim. A leash lit up by the grenade, and in comes Twist. He started this off so well. And now it's his turn at a potential 1v3. RZPG going to choke two of these in a row. There's still some time. Twist doesn't have to fully bite down on this A play. He must assume that Zelsis, who is typically one of the B players, keep that in mind, and you better believe Twist will know that. And now he's about to realize that was incorrect. Twist moving in. Which angle does Zelsis come in from? He's going through on the CT side. So Twist... In this close angle, it's going to come down to reaction speed. It's going to come down to potential pre-fire. He can hear the footsteps. He knows Nelson is just around the corner, but he misses the spray. If you'd asked me if he clutches that with the start, I would have said yes. So fair play, ZPG. You're up against it, but you've shown great tenacity. Oh. And can they go in for more? It's aggression as the two armies clash down Banana. And it's all going the way of ZPG. Zelsus with two. Natfly's been tagged down to 74. He has to turn tail and get back onto the T-steps. And the carnage has all gone the way of the CTs. What a turnaround this has been. Yeah, you start to, uh, you attempt to cage a ravenous beast, and all of a sudden it starts clawing back. I would have never expected myself confrontations this time it's been slowed down it's going to be a full-on execute it's going to be the set play forcing away zelsis that molotov's not going to extend far enough to force him outside of new box but infinite has been drilled into his head from street 2k picking up only his third kill of the map but then that fly shuts him down with the mac 10 an awkward team kill propagated by flashbangs real confusion landing amongst the ranks and now it's a 2v3 in favor of the pug god oh. it's all down to a liege they've seen all of the bosses in this raid but they've yet to meet the liege who comes out with that eagle gets the first kill one bullet left in the magazine but the time is going to run against him and liquid will be conceding a seven well, the momentum has definitely been stacking up in their favor, considering that comeback, which was nearly flawless, barring a miraculous 1v3 clutch from Grimm, and he's in the thick of it again, but Marky, steamrolling, they don't anticipate the third play oh. there, and Nafly just in with two. He's going to get shut down eventually from Dazzle, but Nafly's done more than enough. 
He shared enough of that burden and now it's down to a lesion twist. Let's see if that plays into this round. There's Liquid now going to be moving together through Banana and Dazzle may be there to greet them. Hmm, how does he make this one happen? He's got the apartment's control. Ooh, he hears the footsteps. He most certainly hears the footsteps. Is anybody going to come check him? No, sir. Now he has a chance to hit them from behind to take them by surprise. First man taps, bomb, twist, goes down. Dazzle, he's thinking about going back in. But again, that Molotov, that's going to buy just enough time to ensure he wraps back round towards Balk. Now, Ali, he knows this. He goes for the fight. Dazzle, up close, makes the perfect play. Time, the name of the game, as ZPG takes second pistol, tying the game at eight. Maybe can unwheel this push as it is into a stack. And Nafli is going to put down this EZ in range of Zelsis. Grim comes in with a 5-7 and there's 3 2 k The bloodshed is real, but ZPG have just enough time to get this plant down. That being said, though, it's a 2v2 retake, but oh. both players one bullet away from death and a liege ripping through. As here comes the spray and dazzle for the second time in a row, 1v2s. It will be through a smoke, though, if they're going to go in right now. And there's a slight gap. This is where Twist should be good to land some frags. There's one. And now the up of Nafly going to start to ring out with a couple of its own. Ali shipping in. And it's a massacre. But, again, it was a bonus round, Squatty. So I'm not going to look too much into that. And now cracking open A. Both CTs playing together. Nafly nearly gets the collapse as they double peek him. Smoke down into the pit. He wants to stay alive as long as possible. Slight gap in the smoke. But now the flash is going to be pretty solid. Grim comes in with an even trade with Marquis. Stewie 2K decides that B site will be vacant for the rest of this round. And that is the correct assumption. As the T's are starting to congregate and push together as a united force. Out they come onto the site. Nafly still perched in pit. They must realize this position is tenable. They must realize this is going to be a threat. But maybe that threat's going to be worth nothing. The rest of his teammates are dropping oh. around him. Nafly's last man standing. It's a battle of the Orpus. And Nafly's going to get the upper hand a 3k from pit a flash a smoke that's all they have to work with and it's still majority glocks at the end of the day but maybe all you need is one infinite single shot hit the head but here comes a leash looking to plug the hole they all line up a leash goes big easy anti eco thanks to him he swings as they thought they had a chance Going to be joining the rest of his teammates momentarily. They're going to be looking to peek one by one. They may not anticipate the boost. And now Grim takes the kill, falls back into ruins. He's wanting to bide his time and wait for the rest of his team to get into position. Don't overextend. Don't overpeak. Allow the plant to come in if you have to. You're in a 3v2 retake and you have a bit of utility to play with. Fall to the back of this bomb site. One flash on each team, a decoy for Dazzle if needed. There's also the smoke on Twist to potentially stick bomb. Everybody's got a kit. One off, of course, on Nap. Molotov's thrown forward. That flushes Dazzle into the open where Nap's gonna drop him and Twist takes the head of Cooper too. Grim was back behind a smoke. Stewie's trying to play with his nades to get out, and he was very much just left to his own devices. So that doesn't get punished fully. And here comes Grim. Swinging the scythe from the back of that B bomb site. He gets himself the easy three piece. Zelsis, all that's left now, and it's his flank that's in question. He tries to put some damage down range, but uh, a CZ with 10 shots and five CTs, you're done for. You're roasted. No extensive chances being taken here by Liquid either, but. Stewie and Grim not looking to shy away from this fight, so it seems. Grim, he's at bat, drops two, loses Stu, but still is able to get himself behind the new box. There's a third from Grim, just piecing it all together. Looking to finish map two at the top of the scoreboard, perhaps, just like he did map one. Smoke grenade goes over to block CT. Infinite, he can't find any opening. He can't find any targets to take, and he loses his head in the end. 24 frags for Grim. The Garden Goblins, they're, they're not the raid boss. And uh, so far, so good. Goblins still pack a punch, however. And don't forget, they were on the back foot when they made this magic happen just to get this far, but they're not gonna find themselves any further. A liege with another anti-eco spray down here off Arch. Twist looks to finish it off, and he will take two. 15 rounds for Liquid, five map and match points. And they're not taking any prisoners. They're going to be pushing down middle. They want to finish this map off right here, right now. But Stewie, labored spray, gets punished from Dazzle, who's had a pretty solid game himself. Marquis 
sprays into a lesion. Grim comes back one more time. They're going to be pushing down Banana and trying to make the most of this situation, but they need to be careful they don't overextend because there's still T's down there waiting for them. And Grim gets punished. Twist behind this. Oh, going to go for the spray. There's two. And Dazzle may be the final to fall. This could be it done. The option to take CT is open. The option to drop NAF close is his, but it's an angle being held. And that's exactly where this one ends, folks. 16 rounds for Team Liquid.